Um, the reason why I chose to do, chose to do this study to determine is, you know, you know um, it's not always an opportunity to compete with, um, you know, this high level of Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. You know, right now, uh, I compete amongst the highest level guys in the UFC. And um, since I have a fight coming up, I think uh, this, I still gotta go, this, this Jiu-Jitsu match with Cal Terra is a month from my fight. You know, for me, it's like, I don't take Jiu-Jitsu as seriously as I do MMA matches. For me, it's kind of like more for fun, you know? Uh, more like practice, you know? Win, lose, you know, this is all fun and games it's for the fans, you know? Um, the reason why I just brought weight was, you know, um, I think in my last fight with Dennis Seaver, I just felt like, um, man, the guy just, a lot, he, he was just so massive and so powerful. And um, I, I think that a lot of guys from 155 are just dropping down. And those guys like walking around 180, cutting down to 145. And I, I walk around like, one, like 160, cutting down 145. And uh, I said, uh, I never wanted to go down to 135. I thought it was too light. That would mean I wouldn't be able to eat like that much um, fun, tasty foods. But um, now that I made the cut, I, you know, I, I think for me now, kind of fighting at 135, one bantam weight, I changed my lifestyle. I eat a health, much more health, and I feel much better. And I think in a way, it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. I, I'm really kind of having made this decision because I feel much better just training. Because right now, I'm, I'm, down, I'm, I'm down at about 150. And usually when I was cutting down to 45, I, around 150, I feel so drained, so tired and dead. But right now, I still feel really good at 150. And I'm, I'm just uh, just eating clean every day and living a very healthy lifestyle. I feel, I feel good. You know, what do I need to prove to everyone? Um, I don't know, I never think that in mind I need to prove anything to anyone, you know. I just feel like I'm going to do the best I can, you know. And uh, in this fight against Mizugaki, very big name on, on paper, you know, he's on a three-fight winning streak, you know, he, he's consistent wins, you know, I'm inconsistent. You know, um, I think statistically, you know, the odds are against me. But I don't even care, you know, I, I, I think I know what I can do. I think Asians think very mathematically, you know, this plus this equals that. And I, I see me plus him, I see win, you know. But what I think and actually what's going to happen is two different things. So um, let's see what happens, you know. How I want to win is always exciting. Or I want to be exciting just for the fans' sake, but not just for the fans' sake, but for my own sake. When I, uh, when I watch these videos, I, I want to see, like, hey, that was fun, you know. Um, you know, one day maybe hopefully I can show my kids, like, hey, you know, hey, your dad came out there to fight, you know. And um, I think it's a, it's, this is a sport. We're making, you're trying to make mixed martial arts a sport. And it is. But we can't forget that it, it, you're still in a fight. You come out there to fight. Don't come out there to stall. Don't come out there to just win by points. You know, you're a fighter, right? You're, you're, you're a fighter. Let's come out there and let's go. After it's all said and done, you know, well, first I want to say that, you know, I'm 30 years old now. I've been fighting since I was 18, you know. Um, I really re realistically want to give myself a few years left at the elite level. And in the elite level as in the UFC, you know, to com of competing left, you know, because like I said before, the older you get, you know, the slower you get, and these guys are getting younger and faster, and the older and you know, I try to say, the older you get, the slower you get, and then you're fighting guys that are young, coming younger and faster. So I just gotta make the time, whatever time I have left, the best of it. And you know, when after it's all said and done, I just wanna be remembered as someone that represents the community in a very positive light, you know? And when, he, when I fought, when, I, when he fought, he, he came out there, and he let it go.